We are on pace 1105, working our way through the Algebra 1 paces. And uh, this is the first lesson, which kind of covers pages one through four. And uh, not, not too hard of a concept, it is a little bit new, so let's go over it. <clears throat> we have a radical and we have an x uh, variable. We're solving for the variable x, okay? We need to, first of all, just like if this were a you know, pre-algebra problem, we want to get rid of this plus 5 and bring that over to the other side first. And then that kind of isolates this radical. So that part's easy. We add 5 to both sides. And so then that cancels and I have square root of 3x equals 12. Okay, everybody with me? That part's not too bad. How do I get rid of a radical? Well, hopefully you remember from the previous pace that you multiply it times itself. So we're going to square it. And one of the main rules of algebra is that whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to the other side. So here I added 5, so I had to add 5 to the other side. So as long as you do the same thing to both sides, then it stays equal. The two sides remain equal. So here I'm squaring both sides, and over here I'm squaring it. <clears throat> so the 3x times itself, so remember this, 3x, square root of 3x times the square root of 3x, the 3x pops out, and then over here I get 12 times 12, which is 144. And then the last step would just be to divide both sides by 3 and you're done, okay? <clears throat> now let's take a little more complicated problem over here, okay? So the first step and we could, I mean, we could, look, there's two, two ways to attack this one. Uh, my first inclination was to just put parentheses around both sides and square them. And that would give you 100. And then 4, 2 times 2 is 4, times the, and then the 4x minus 3 would pop out. But um, let's try to isolate the radical first. I think that'll make it a little faster and easier for us. So since I have 2 times the radical, I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides first. So that just leaves, oops, 4x minus 3 under the radical equals 10 divided by 2 is 5, okay? Now I'll put parentheses around both sides and square them, and that causes this to pop out. So the 4x minus 3 pops out from under the radical, because 4x minus 3 times the square root of 4x minus 3, we get this, equals, and then the 5 squared is not 10, right? It's 25. And now you can, it's just like an algebra half problem. Now you just add the 3 to both sides, you can divide by 4, and you can finish that problem. Okay, I think that one's very similar to one that you have on your homework. So hopefully this concept isn't too bad. We have some really interesting, in fact, probably some of the hardest algebra that you've had yet this year is coming up in this pace. But don't worry, we're here to help you.